The body of Christ likes to divide itself. What? Yes, and I'm going to tell you why. One of the classic examples of how the body of Christ divides itself is the old covenant believers with the new covenant believers. The old covenant representing the law, Moses, and the new covenant representing Jesus. This is all ridiculous, and I want to prove it to you right now. Jesus was described as the lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world, right? Mentioned it in 1 Peter, mentioned it in Revelation. So let me ask you this. If he was slain before the foundation of the world, then was not the new covenant written before the old covenant? If you're going on the aspect of time, was the new covenant not written before the old covenant? Slain? Come on. This is why... With God, there's no covenants. With God... It's father and child. It's father and child. The further you get away from the simplicity of his love and the truth of his love and his grace, the further away you're going to get from understanding who he truly is. And separating Christians between old covenant believers and new covenant believers is a classic example of how, that's, of how that happened right there. It's just... You know, I love to look for great messages from people who help show the heart of God and just kind of exemplify how just directly, just simply going to him in prayer and experiencing him in the spirit 100%, which is more real than the flesh, you will see God exactly and you will see yourself in him more so than having... but. And I, I want to hear it coming out of people's mouths. I, I keep yearning to hear this. And I keep looking for it. And it, I, I just, I just, I'm repeatedly disappointed. I'm repeatedly disappointed. Every once in a while, I'll get, an, I'll get a message. And I like to be able to hear that. Because just to hear in my physical senses, somebody who understands spiritually, it's just a pleasure for me. And I like to hear that. I mean, there's no substitute to experiencing God in prayer. But here's somebody who actually knows him, affirm it. I love to hear it. It's a sweet, sweet tune. I love it. And unfortunately, that's one of the messages that's less listened to than other messages. Messages that help, you know, just, you know, try to supplicate things in the physical. Those are the ones that really get the hype. But the ones that walk in the knowledge of what we already have in the spirit, those are the ones that kind of fall by the wayside. That's a shame. There's no such thing as old covenant Christians, new covenant Christians. There is the children of God. If you believe in him, whoever believes in him, whoever. I don't see, remember seeing in any translation, anything in the appendix or in the bottom or in the sub or, or in the notes. That that only meant specific people. Anybody who believes in him, who believes the way, that this is the way directly into the arms of the Father, will have eternal life. Life is the love and the grace and the eternal life and love in him. So I hear old covenant Christians and new covenant Christians, I, I, that turns me off. It turns me off. The people say, well, well, the new covenant Christians is about Jesus. You're absolutely right. That's the new covenant. But the covenant was what he always felt. God's the same yesterday and today and then tomorrow. The God you read in the Old Testament is no different than the God in the, in the New Testament. Now, this is something here. We talk about New Testament, Old Testament. That's not the same as Old Covenant, New Covenant. And this is what gets, just stop with this confusion. Stop with this confusion. Let's go to him. Stop with this. Try to try to do the math. This isn't math. This is logic. Okay, logic is going directly into the arms of the Father, and then you'll and you'll experience Him, and then what? It's it's amazing how simple it is. How simple it is. Then, like I say, the Bible then becomes an affirmation. So when someone asks me, say, you an old covenant Christian or a new covenant? Well, no, one, no one's going to ever ask me that. I don't, I don't think they will. But I'm like, 
I, God is my father. Are you a Christian? God is my father. I, I, I can't, I can't label myself something. I just can't label myself as a Christian. It's just, it's like a brand. It's like I'm like, like Nike or Adidas, you know, whatever. It's, it's, I'm a person. He God's my father. I'm his child. We're family. Okay. This terminology and this, this separating, it's just, it's just so destructive. It causes confusion. It causes division. People who don't know God based on their physical upbringings have legitimate questions based on how they're brought up. You can't blame that on ignorance because they're willing to learn. They just don't know where to look. The people I've seen people who, who understand who Jesus is, but they don't know God's heart. They don't know him. They never walked with him. They've never experienced a day with him. They never walked with him in the cool of the evening. They've never seen his heart. And when I hear them preach and I hear them teach, I, I, I hear God, I, I don't even know who you're talking about. I don't even think old covenant, new covenant. I, don't, I don't even go that far. It's about relationship. It's about a person. Just think about yourself. If somebody wants to know you, they will know you when they truly hang out with you and they live with you, experience life with you every day, and they see your heart. That's how they know you. And that's why I'm so, that's a, a, a big advocate of experience. Experience with God in prayer is how you know him. On this earth. What prayers for? So let's do that. Just don't worry about old covenant, new covenant. <laughs> it's, it's comical. It's so comical. Just stop. Just stop. It's only God and you. And I always say this is one of the things that God said to me that just that just rocked me. And just set my set my heart so sternly to him when he said to me in prayer years ago. He said I I would come back and I would do this all again just to get you. And I had erased everybody from the Bible, everybody from the beginning, and it was just me and him. Every page was just me and him, and. It, he did it all for me. All for me. And he does it. We do it all for you too. We do it all for you too. It's not covenants. He's your dad. He loves you. If you're a parent and you have children, you know how much you love them. Well, multiply that love times infinity. And that's how much God loves you can't think that it's impossible that's one of the things that just dazzles me when you just operate in that oh it, it gives you such inspiration but when you walk with him every single day you'll know him you'll know his heart you'll experience it and then you'll see it's not about covenants it's not about agreements it's not it's not about chapters it's not about verses it's about a relationship it's about a person and a person. It's about a child and a father. And experiencing the life that he has always wanted for you from the very beginning. There you go. God bless y'all. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.